Hello, my name is Mars, and welcome back to In Stars and Time. I think I have all the information I need to go back to Dormont and to help everybody out. I'm not entirely sure about Bonnie's favorite foods, but we'll see. We'll see when we get there. We're going to loop all the way back to Dormont. Probably have a terrible nightmare. You wake up. Rotten apple. Yuck. Pew pew! Oh, I, I was wondering about how Sifrin would react to animals. What do you think? Absolutely, I'll let everyone know. Talk to you later, Mira. <laughs> we'll tell Mirabelle about the carrot method so she knows that one skill. Yay, you watch her go. And I think we'll help you out first, Mira, because you're right here. Questions. Um... So which one will you choose? Oh, why was that grayed out? I haven't selected it yet. Hmm? Sorry? You pointed at her pile of papers. What? Battle music? What? How? What do you know? Answer me. She has her hand on her rapier. Jeez. You're choosing someone for something, right? It seems important. Maybe I can help? Hmm. I... I suppose you must have more experience than I do. Alright. I would like your help if you'll give it. Experience? I mean, we do have a lot more experience than everyone else, in a certain sense of the word. But I don't think that Mirabelle means it that way. Sure. Thank you, Sifrin. But, um, this might take some time. So, um, make sure you have time. Um, maybe in a second. Oh, it's fine. Let me know when you have time, all right? Should I make sure to talk to everyone first? Odile is here looking at what the shop has to offer. Odile. Oh, that's how her name is pronounced. Can I help you with anything? Yeah, she wants a family tale. I'm looking for a certain type of book. A type of book called a family tale. Oh, I've heard the boulangerie has one of those. What? 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 Huh? Really? She doesn't seem to know how to react. You look at her repeat the same words over and over. Sifrin, will you come with me to ask them if I can borrow it? It might take some time, so make sure you have time to help me. Maybe in a second. Okay. I mean, we have to be able to do all of these in one loop, right? Because that's the only way we can help... Um, help Isabeau, right? Alright, I'm gonna go talk to Bonnie. Um, let me just open my notes. I have what I think are their favorite foods written down. But I'm not entirely sure. Hey, friend. Can I help you with anything? You don't? You don't know me not even a little bit. I do. Huh? You love... Rice. Yeah, that's true, but... And... Fish heads? Nope. Damn it. You got it wrong. I think it's pineapples. You don't think Bonnie will let you guess again this loop. That's fine. Ugh. 
Well, that's fine. I think I think it's pineapples. Um Although it wasn't one of those regular options with the um onigiris, was it? It was specifically rice. So Hmm. It might be that we have to choose the different options and like get a special dialogue from it. I'm not entirely sure. Um Let's do Mirabelle's thing. Let's hang out now. Oh, okay. Okay, how to do this. Sit down next to me, maybe? You sit down. Mirabelle looks at you without saying a word. She looks worried. Maybe you should take the lead. So what are those papers, really? Oh, um... Bonding proposals? Bonding? Like, when you promise to stay with someone forever? Is Mirabelle looking for a partner? And she's taking applications? Okay. No, wait, that's not exactly it. Please stop looking at me. It's more like, um, dating? Oh! Dating profiles. Okay. So she's on Bumble. I mean, I guess it's not Bumble because people are approaching her. I don't know. She's, she's on a dating app. I'm not thinking about being bonded yet. Dating? You didn't think Mirabelle cared about that. You're still confused. All right, well, before this all started with the king, I decided I wanted to uh, try to date someone. And so I asked a dating company and they gave me a bunch of folders of people that I could meet and that I could date, but I haven't gone through it yet. So I figured I could at least get that done today. It seems so inefficient, but here's the thing. Whenever you watch, like, I used to watch a lot of, like, cop shows, detective shows. I don't like them anymore now. I still love mysteries, but the whole... It's all propaganda, and I don't like that. But anyway, whenever you watch a cop show from, like, the, the 2000s, or even, like, no, I guess the, the early 2000s. They always have an episode about dating companies, matchmaking companies. And it's never through an app. It's always through, like, videotapes. Like, like mail videotapes to other pe to people. And it seems, like, so inefficient and unwieldy compared to the dating apps we have now. But that used to be a thing, you know? And it, a shady enough thing that it always in TV cause someone to get murdered, but yeah, the, these kinds of services have been around as long as people have wanted to date people, so yep. She figured I could at least get that done today and look through all of them and make a list of people I could see myself dating, and I suppose I need help. I'm choosing someone I could spend the rest of my life with, so I'd appreciate another pair of eyes. Or, um, just the one eye. As long as it's not, not my two eyes looking at this. Um, and also I need a distraction from tomorrow very badly. So I figured I'd replace my anxiety about a possible defeat with, um, this. Oh, hmm. Choosing someone to date is a little out of your comfort zone, but you think you can try and find someone who would fit Mirabelle? Maybe. Let's have a look then. All right. I have a few profiles right here. She removes an immense folder out of her dress pocket. Was she carrying it with her throughout your entire journey? Here's a few of them. So, um, we can... You can go first. And tell me what you think. And I'll go after. Um, so, well, tell me what you think about him. She shows you the file of a strong, buff-looking man. Is that Mirabelle's type? We have one of those at home. <laughs> Is she going to be like, ew, I don't want to date Isabeau? I think that's a funny thing to say, but... We have one of those at home. What? Do you mean Isabeau? Ew, you're right. <laughs> Is that worth an ew? Either way, sounds like masculine people aren't her type. 
probably. Maybe she would like someone more feminine. Do you have someone more feminine looking? Hmm. She looks through her files. How about her? She shows you the profile of a gentle looking lady. She looks like you. Ew, you're right. Is that worse than you? So well, not into feminine people either, apparently. What kind of person are you into then? Oh, I don't have a type. I like all kinds of people equally. But if you had to choose? Uh, um, someone... Nice? You nod. And someone... Pretty? You nod. And someone who... Likes me? You don't nod. Mira. No, 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 wait, wait. Let me think a bit more. I want someone who... She thinks for an awfully long time. Well, what about you then? What kind of person are you into, Sifrin? Well, you think about how to answer this for an awfully long time, but then catch yourself. Wait, are you just going to copy my answers? No! Okay, fine. You got me, Sifrin. I'm not interested in that dating stuff. Oh, that makes sense. But then why... So then why worry about it? You know, Sifrin, the change belief is very, very important to me. It's all around changing. Changing with a capital C. Bettering yourself. Becoming a better, different person. And one of the ways to change is to try new things, you know? That's part of the reason the house offers so many different classes, huh? <laughs> And so, um, so, I'm trying. I'm trying new things. And some are fun and fulfilling and easy, but you can't just go and only try new easy things, can you? Sometimes I have to try scary new things. Things that make me uncomfortable. Things I don't want to do at all. Things she doesn't want to do? Like dating? Yes, like dating. But, but you know, Romantic love is one of the biggest ways to change. It's supposed to change you, to bring you new experiences. And, and so, I have to do it, right? To be a good housemate, I have to do it. I have to date. I have to love someone in a romantic way. I have to do things with them. I have to bond with them. I have to sleep with them. I have to have children with them. I have to love them in this very specific way. And... And... And you don't want to. And... And I don't want to. I don't want to do it, Sifrin. Not at all. Dating, the idea of being in a romantic relationship, of being with someone like that, I hate thinking about it. I hate the idea of it. I really do. The idea of it alone is just awful for me to think about. I can't love someone like that in the way I should love them. It never happened, and I don't think it ever will. And I... I need this to change, don't I? Oh, stars, this is heavy. You're not sure what to say. Maybe... Maybe... Well, um... Why do you need to change? Because I have to, Sifrin! Because that's what she believes she has to do. I'm a housemaiden, and I love it. I love helping people, getting to know them. I love learning new things. I love it all, but... But I have to change in that way, too. I wish I could just not do it. Not be with someone that way. But, Sifrin, there is such a pressure to force us to do that. And not only that, there, there's such intense pressure to force us to change. We have yearly festivals all around showing yourself as a new person for crab's sake. Okay, this is interesting because up until now, I was getting the idea that this game was very happy with the change belief. That it thought that Mirabelle was right about everything, that the house was right about everything, that changing yourself is 
the right thing. The king doesn't want to change. The king doesn't want anything else to change, rather, and that's bad. Mirabelle wants to change. That's good. Isabel wants to change. Bonnie wants to change. Everyone wants to change. And change is good. But I like that they're showing this negative side as well. You know, I, I like when something is respectful of religious beliefs. I am religious. I'm Jewish. And a lot of times when games are like very anti-religion or anything is like very anti-religion, what they're really, what they really are is like anti-Christianity and that splash damage just kind of hurts me as a person with a different faith who believes in it, you know? But, you know, it's also wrong to look at all faiths as something inherently good as well. And sometimes I need to be reminded of that myself. So, I don't know. I really like this. And Mirabelle, you don't have to change everything all the time. You know? You can be yourself. Most housemaidens have completely changed at least once, and I haven't. Isabeau isn't even a housemaiden, as he's changed. And I haven't. And, and I don't, I don't want to change. I'm happy with who I am. Yes, change isn't always necessary. I'm, I also like the fact that they're criticizing the change belief too, because I'm a person who does not like change, <laughs> inherently. So uh, I, I'm with Mirabelle right here. I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm comfortable with the idea of not being with anyone. I'm comfortable with the idea of staying the same forever. But we have to change and bring new things into our lives and change clothes and hairstyles and even part of our personalities to appeal to a deity that... that... that I don't know if they understand that sometimes. I just like to stay the same. Or maybe they do. Maybe that's why they haven't... And now, why they haven't done anything for the people in a very, very long time. And now, I have a list of people that I can meet so I can fall in love with them, which I can't do. And do things which them, with them which I will never, ever want to do. Also, I can change. And it makes me feel like a mistake. That I must be broken for not being able to want these things. Because everyone else can. Well, I don't know about the romantic part. But I don't want to do things with people either. Huh? Why not? It's weird, right? Yes. Mirabel takes hold of your hands. You jump a little, but she doesn't notice. Yeah! Yeah! It's just weird! And gross! It's awful! I don't want it at all! Oh, Sifrin, Sifrin! You mean it? You really mean it? You understand? Yeah, of course. <laughs> what a relief. To have someone who understands this, at least. But it doesn't fix anything. I need to change. And dating? It's part of it, so... Mirabelle sighs. Sifrin, I know you don't follow the change belief, but... Do you have something like this? Something that brings you joy and community and faith? But some other parts you don't know how to follow? Some other parts you don't know what to do with? Some other parts just bring you grief? Something that brings you both joy and grief? You think about the stars. It's more complicated than that for me, but... Yeah, I have something like that. So you do too. How... How do you deal with it then? You don't. I just try to not think about things that bother me in general. <laughs> avoidance, huh? I know that feels, Sifrin. I know avoidance. That feels... A little too cowardly for me, hey. It's not cowardly, it is... 
Avoidance is a fine and noble way to live, live your life. It just means you never get to do anything that could bring you joy. <laughs> That's all it means. And you never get close to anybody. And you sit in your own feelings for way too long and stir and ruminate on things. It's great, though. Ouch. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say... You laugh. You know she didn't mean it that way. Of course not. You didn't know Mirabelle held those feelings towards the change belief. She always seemed so passionate about it. But the belief she loves so much is also the same belief that forces her into a box she doesn't want to be in. Why doesn't she leave it behind then? You suppose it's not that simple. I don't know anything about your belief, but... You could always game the system, right? Game the system? Change things by deciding not to change? If everyone changes in that way, then you'll change by not changing in that way. There's more than one way to become a better person, right? Changing by deciding not to change? <laughs> Sifrin, that's not how it works. But no one needs to know. <laughs> change myself by deciding not to change. Sounds challenging and fun to me. Right now, you mean it. It does. It does sound challenging and fun. Oh, Mirabelle smiles at you brightly. Oh, you smile back. Thank you, Sifrin. Thank you for talking with me. Oh, look at the time. You probably had other things to do, didn't you? Go, go, don't let me keep you. I need to be alone for a little bit. I have a lot to think about. I'll see you later, okay? You got a memory of faith. You'll always remember this. When equipped, memory of faith boosts all of your house maiden stats by 30. Oh, wow. Your house maiden also learned the skill Holy Care Shield. Amazingly strong. When used, it creates a shield that makes everyone invulnerable to attacks for one turn. It's so strong, you'll only be able to use it when you and your house maiden have had this exact conversation. So if you loop back to Dormont, you'll have to talk to her all over again. Remember that, okay? You nod to Mirabelle. You wave goodbye. Okay. Companion quest. Hang out with Mirabelle. Yay. Okay. Um, I wonder if it's like a waste to do all these things now because I failed with Bonnie. Huh. So I am going to have to do all that again. Um, but hold on. I think I'll go talk to Loop and see if they have any suggestions. Isa, I need to do the favor tree thing. Oh, sorry, I'm in your way then, aren't I? I'll get out of your hair. See you at the clock tower. Sorry about that, Isabeau. Hey, a stardust. Hmm. It takes you a lot of time, doesn't it, to loop back and talk to me? Sure does. It's fine. Is it? It's fine. Uh-huh. But, hmm. I wonder if... Yeah, that's a good idea. How about I teach you a special craft skill so you can talk to me whenever? A craft skill to talk to Loop, even if you're not near them. That seems impossible. Only because you don't know the specific hand shape for it. Yes, Stardust. A fourth hand shape. So you can talk to me whenever. Are you interested? A fourth hand shape. If anyone would know about this, it'd be someone like Loop. You nod. Great! All right, are you ready? You nod again. So, take your hand and make a fist. You do so. Then you're going to raise your thumb and little finger. Raise thumb, raise little finger, and keeping your hand in that shape. <laughs> make a telephone. You're going to put your hand next to your face with the thumb to your ear and little finger to your mouth. Oh my god. 
telephone. I was in a production of Bye Bye Birdie once, and there's a song in that called The Telephone Hour, where it takes place in the 50s, so everyone's on their landline phones. And they made these little um, cardboard phone cutouts for us with like uh, a pipe cleaner cord, and they're really cute. I think I still have mine. I might have thrown it away, but it was really funny during that dance because a lot of people were holding the 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 cardboard phone up to their ear and also with their other their other hand without even realizing it putting that up to their other ear <laughs> and making the the phone shape with it so whenever and whenever someone talks about making that phone shape with your hand that's what i think about <laughs> sorry i'm going on a lot of tangents this episode i'm sorry that's the secret handshape no one knows about. Interesting. You've never heard about this, but you have a bad memory. You may have just forgotten it. And then, the very last step. There's more. There is Stardust. You just have to think very loudly. Boy, I sure wish I could talk to Loop right now. Now that part just sounds silly. Haha! <laughs> yes, that's definitely the silly part of this ritual. And that's it. Now you can call me whenever. Well, mostly whenever. It might not work sometimes. Especially if you get too far. We won't be able to chat very long or anything, so you'll still need to come whenever you want to breathe or need a chat. But now I can help you out and give you hints whenever. Or if you want me to put it another way. You've just learned the skill, call loop. You can call me anytime to get some precious hints. To call me, just go into your craft menu and select call loop. Easy as pie. Ow. Tee All right. Now that you're here, though, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Um. Um. Book fan. Oh. I've been seeing myself in the house. Yourself? Like how? You tell Loop about how you saw yourself walking around the house a few times. An image of yourself walking around the house. Maybe their reflections? Remnants of your past loops? I wouldn't know. Remnants? Odile uses the same word to describe the sadnesses. Oh boy. Could it be a sadness? Ha! You see a copy of you walking around and you assume it's a sadness? Are you sad, Stardust? I'm gonna go ahead and say they're linked to your loops. If they are, you might see them more and more as you loop through time. Okay, I, I can't ask them how to help people. They were looking at a book about burial rituals because you talked about... No wonder the kid was upset about it. Pretty stupid of you adults to talk about that stuff where they could hear you. No wonder the kid hates you. And, will you do something about it? Talk to your kid about it after, maybe? You can't, you can't, you can't even think about it. Okay. I feel like that whole thing is... I feel like the, um, the Bonnie burial ritual quest is kind of, kind of shot at this point. I don't think there's anything else that can be done there. He mentions, yeah, this is the same as before. If we talk to Bonnie beforehand, maybe, okay, yeah, that's the same. There's this book fan. Ah, oh, that man living in a house full of books? He seems to be really into that book series your housemaiden likes. The Cursing of Chateau Castle, right? Didn't the last issue come out right as the King's Curse started freezing Vogard in time? It might be hard to find. If you find any issues, you should remember the issue number and tell him. Maybe you might end up finding the very last one. Um, I know what to do with Amira's fan. We forgot to look at her desk last time, but I'm pretty confident that desk in the classroom where Mira talks about the person she's a fan of. Um, I think that that desk belongs to the, the fashionable lady. So we need to... Yeah, we need to look at that desk first get Sifrin to realize this, and then when they go back to town, they can tell Mirabelle or the fashionable lady that 
They should be best friends. Um, the sadnesses are different. Hmm, I've noticed. They don't always appear at the floor where they should be, right? This didn't happen before I beat the king. They did not. Is it because you beat the king? Is it related? No theories? None. But hey, variety is the spice of life, isn't it? Chihi? Okay. Anything else about the bomb? The short gizmo gadget is in the Hasborn storm room. Yeah. I still have no idea where the long thingy thing is. Let's talk about something. Sure. What do you want to talk about? Why Stardust? Because you're what's left, I suppose. What's left? What's left of what? And because it's such a cute nickname, you are my little Stardust. My little cutie patootie Stardust. Ew. But... Just say you don't want to answer, it's fine. But it's so much fun to annoy you instead. Distracting people with puns and jokes is the best way to evade stupid questions. Yeah, you can relate. Okay, that's it. Okay, I don't know if I want to do Odile's thing right now. I don't know. So... I could either do Odile's thing and then go through the house and try for like different conversations with Bonnie to get a better idea of what their favorite foods are. Or I could just loop back here and keep guessing with Bonnie. But then I'd have to do Mirabelle's whole thing again if I want the skill back. And if I want to help Isabeau. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do next. So I think I'm actually going to end it here. Oh, we need to choose something. Um, I like attacking hard. Yay! Drop my dagger. Embarrassing. Okay, and we're gonna save. And I think I'll decide what to do for next time. <sighs> Because I'm not entirely sure what that is. Until then, I have been Mars, and I'll be back with more in Stars and Time. <laughs>